Welcome back to Trojan Arena, everybody, in the Troy Game Day post-game show here on the Troy Sports Radio Network. The final here inside the arena was Arkansas State 78 and Troy 62. Our visit with Coach Scott Cross is brought to you by Troy Bank and Trust, the only bank you'll ever need. And, Coach, I said this during the broadcast, basketball really doesn't require a brain surgeon to figure out. You make shots, you look like you're playing well, you miss shots, and it doesn't look so good. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. Uh, you know, I thought we did give them some easy buckets in the first half. Uh, we didn't get back in transition. When we shoot the ball, our one man and two man are supposed to get back. And they had a couple leak outs where they're getting wide open layups. And that gets you going. I mean, that gets your confidence going. Uh, we, we didn't have any of those. And so and that can that can change the outcome of the game right there. And now all of a sudden they're feeling it. They're feeling better about themselves when they shoot a three. They get a lead. Now it becomes harder for us to hit shots. And it's a vicious circle. You've said to me before that when you're making shots, you tend to play better on defense because oh, the energy raises up and the other team maybe starts pressing a little bit. Absolutely. They uh, they definitely were more energetic. They got after us. Uh, they did a great job defensively, made everything tough for us. Uh, we didn't finish around the basket. I mean, we shot a terrible percentage, but again, they shot way too high. We need to be able to create an offense with our defense, and uh, you know, we just we got to get back to work. We didn't have a very good couple of days uh, preparing for these guys. I didn't think our guys were locked in. Uh, that's on me. I got to figure out a way to get these guys going and uh, motivated to to play their best basketball. But uh, we didn't bring it tonight, and uh, it is very disappointing. Did take care of the basketball better tonight than we did in Jonesboro a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're trying to find a, I a, a positive, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that that was a, that was about the only positive. Uh, we did a little bit better, but you know, in the first half, it wasn't very good either. We had yeah. a couple of uh, backbreakers, and you know, we, we had missed layups that led to layups on the other end for for them, and that that's a that's a killer too. So uh, we just we just have to find a way to to, to win, and it's not going to get any easier. We're going on the road and playing the two, you know, two of the three top top uh, toughest teams in the league, and so uh, it's definitely not going to get any easier for us. Coach, I know how you like to look at the past game to determine what's going to happen in the next game as far as effort and activity and production. Talk a little bit about Khalil Waters and Taj Small tonight. I thought both guys played extra minutes, perhaps more than they're used to playing, and, and both seem to finish pretty well. Khalil with 15 points and five rebounds, and Taj with 11 points and four. Yeah, I mean, Khalil's been dying to play, you know, begging us to saying he'll do whatever it takes, he'll do anything to play, and, you know, he definitely uh, made the most of his minutes in there and was a, was definitely a bright spot. Uh, Taj had a fairly good game as well, and uh, so, yeah, we, you know, we're looking right now, we're looking for guys to to step up we're missing guys so we need other guys to step up and uh, pick up the slack for us okay so what do you do now yeah you, obviously you leave for Statesboro on Wednesday what do you do tomorrow Monday Tuesday to try to get ready for that tough road trip tomorrow they'll be off uh, Monday we got to get better <laughs> you know that's the bottom line we got to find a way to get better and got to have a better practice uh, you know like I mentioned I felt like our guys kind of went through the motions the other day and we didn't deserve success today and and I, I, I believe wholeheartedly that you have to deserve success. And so uh, it starts starts on Monday when we get back to work. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Scott Cross, the head coach.